one of the things that kind of happens is that we look at some of this stuff in, in, I mean, these are physics problems basically, and we treat them as like fixed, like science has all the answers. So it's fixed. We don't want to yet write a book. It's, it's correct. But the reality is good scientists know that nothing we know is certain. And so we have to always be reevaluating our understandings. And sometimes our understanding of something is simplistic and we may not even realize that, or we may do it on purpose. You and I talked earlier about sometimes we simplify things to make it easier to understand. And we actually simplify it to the point of being wrong. And for teaching purposes, you might tell, I, I remember having a professor once who did that, where he said, what I'm telling you is technically wrong, but it's simplified in a way that will be easier to understand. So you get this, then we can move on to the next step so you can understand the real thing. And I forget what it was now, but you had something you said you would simplify. Was it the closed form calculations for the room or something like that? You had simplified to the point of being wrong, but it would be easier to understand. Yeah, and I'm, I'll be anxious to see, you know, what, um, so there's an equation that that all this stuff, like what you're showing on the screen is derived from from an equation, which is mathematically derived, and it's a bit complicated. Um, the derivation of it is, 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 is like, yeah, it's complicated. And anyway, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to, to talk about how that if you simplify it, you can see that the, the, the denominator is the is the spatial variation at any fixed frequency, 